July 6th, 2023. According to the uh, website of Chabad.org, 5783. This is a fast day for the religious Jewish people called the Fast of Tammuz. We're doing the Torah reading from Exodus 32 and Exodus 34. In the Jewish history, Moses breaks the tab tablets in 1313 B.C., according to Chabad.org. The Talmud lists five tragic events in Jewish history that occurred on Tammuz 17, on account of which was a fast instituted on this day. And as they... The first of these occurred in 1313 B.C., 40 days after the giving of the Torah on the Sivan 6th upon descending Mount Sinai and witnessing Israel's worship of the golden calf. Moses smashed the tablet of the Ten Commandments which he was carrying down from the mountain. The service of the temple was disrupted in 423 B.C. Continued. Three weeks before the Babylonians' destruction of the first temple in 423 B.C. So three weeks before the ninth of Av, they had to stop the daily sacrifice. So this begins a time of mourning. The Jerusalem walls were breached in 69 A.D. The other three national tragedies mourned on Tammuz 17 are connected with the Roman conquest of Jerusalem and the destruction of the second temple in the year 69 AD. The walls of the besieged city of Jerusalem were breached on what is July 6th. The Roman general Apostomus burned the Torah and placed an idol in the Holy Temple. The fighting in Jerusalem continued for three weeks until the 9th of Av. That would be July 26th, 726 in 2023. 726 is the 9th of Av. But the beginning, the time of mourning begins tomorrow. Men's begins on July 6th when the Holy Temple was set aflame, which is set aflame on the 9th of Av. So the laws and customs, so I'll just share this with you these three weeks. Tammuz 17 is a fast day devoted to mourning, the breaching of Jerusalem's walls and the other tragic events that occurred on this day. So there's a time of mourning and repenting and rectifying their causes. We refrain from all food and drink from daybreak. So it's a time of mourning. Three weeks begin. A three-week period of mourning, which culminates on the 9th of Av, commemorating the conquest of Jerusalem, the destruction of the Holy Temple, and the dispersion of the Jewish people. Weddings and other joyful events are not held during this period. Like mourners, we do not cut our hair, and various pleasurable activities are limited or prescribed. So I'll just share this with you as a time tomorrow, beginning on July 6th, a time of mourning, a time of sadness. Even as we see this uh, nuclear power plant in Ukraine, whereas Ukraine says Russia's going to blow it up or make an explosion, Russia says Ukraine's going to do it, and I have no idea exactly who's going to do it, but it does look serious that somebody is going to do it. And um, it just very well could set off a chain reaction events that leads to a greater nuclear exchange between the parties, which will culminate. Dear friends, we do hope only for the rapture. And we pray for those who will be hurt or left behind in this darkened world. Jesus Christ is coming soon. And we're beginning... We're beginning a time when the Jewish people were mourning for three weeks and it very well could set off a time, a chain of events in this world where there is mourning. So we're remembering here these the three weeks from July 6th through Thursday, July 27th and the, uh, the fast of the Tisha B'Av, the 9th of Av is July 26th and 27th. That is 726 
which of course seven, the number 726 is rapture in the Strong's Concordance and 726 is Harpax. It's the uh, adjectival form of rapture and of course we do not know the day or the hour but we do know that we are in the season. We do believe we have many, many reasons to believe we're in the season and so we're beginning this three weeks of mourning. We're beginning this three weeks of mourning and uh, then we're coming up here to the Feast of Trumpets. And the 15th of Av, I'm not uh, extremely favored with that. Our sages proclaim the 15th of Av is one of the two greatest festivals of the year, yet they ordain no special observance or celebrations of it. So the 15th of Av, we have to look into that, August 2nd. Rosh Hashanah, that is the uh, Feast of Trumpets, the head of the year, according to what they're saying, September 15th to September 17th. And, uh, and then uh, Yom Kippur, 10 days Later, September 24th to September 25th, and uh, the Day of Atonement, and then the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot. September 28th to October 6th, and Shemini Yatzeret and Simchat Torah, October 6th and October 8th, and Hanukkah, December 7th to December 15th. These are the, the Jewish holidays, and we're just looking to uh, July 6th right now for uh, consideration. For consideration of a time of mourning, which may be a time when the world is <clears throat> set, when the world is set in a dark direction of suffering. There's many things coming down, and we just uh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Bless those here in this word, Lord. We thank you, Father. We ask you, Lord, uh, even as this time of mourning is coming up in remembrance of the sad things that have happened in the past. We ask your mercy and grace, Lord. We ask your mercy and grace. In Jesus' name, amen. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, Thou hast taught me to say it is well, it is well with my soul. Though Satan should buffet, though trials should come, let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. My sin, oh the bliss. My sin, not in part, but the whole, is nailed to the cross. And I bear it no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, oh my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. And Lord, haste the day when the trial shall be done. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The Lord shall descend. And the Lord shall descend, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O oh, my soul. It is well with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul. 